Hey world, what's good? It's your boy LG and I'm back with another video. Man, it felt good to say that. I have not said that in a minute. I know it's been a while since y'all seen the video from me and um, I do apologize. I've been doing a whole lot of stuff, but just need to hear nor there and I'll probably be covering that in maybe an update video sometime later. I don't, maybe, if I feel like it. But that doesn't matter because I'm here now and I'm going to be coming out swinging and hitting y'all hard with a good ass topic. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. Now, over the past couple of years, I've been seeing this big push and complaint for um, representation and inclusion in video games from a lot of various people, black women, LGBTQ plus something or other, I, I don't know. But anyway, it's been a big deal for the past couple of years, and I've been quiet for a number of reasons but one of the reasons i've been quiet is because i've been wanting to understand where they're coming from to kind of listen to see what they're saying you know what caused them to get to that point ideas and all of that stuff and um over the past couple years of research if you will um i've come to my own set of conclusions that i want to share with you guys now the first thing i want y'all to know is that just because something isn't implicitly stated or in other words basically put out there in front of your face like hey this is so and so boom doesn't mean it doesn't exist a lot of people were complaining about overwatch with the new character baptiste a lot of black women in particular were were um not happy because they were like oh we have another black man in overwatch but there's not a lot of black women <sighs> that's further from the truth you know, you have Symmetra, you have Pharaoh, you have Orisa, which is a bit of a judgment call. I'm counting Orisa. And also, you have Orisa's creator, Ify, or Effie. So just because you don't see it in a particular way, or it's not presented in a typ typical way that you think it should be presented, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Which leads me into my next point. Whether it's Blizzard's Overwatch, Capcom Street Fighter, Final Fight, or whatever your favorite indie company's indie game the bottom line is it's their game it's their product it's their world that they've crafted that they want to share if capcom for example wanted to make an all dog universe that's what they want to do they can go ahead and do it it is on them now all of this leads me to my big point here and it's real simple yet so profound if you don't like it, don't buy it. I'm going to say that again for the people in the cheap seats. If you don't like it, don't buy it. That's what you're voting with is your dollar. So why are you putting money into something that you don't necessarily support or feel comfortable with supporting? It's not hard. It's really simple. I don't understand why people don't get that. And I guarantee you there's at least one or two games that will give you what you like. For example, Overwatch. You know, the people that were complaining about representation in Overwatch guess what paladins has a little bit better rep representation there so you can go to paladins it's it's literally not that hard people you don't have to go through all of this boycotting and and all of this stuff but the bottom line i, I think what people need to understand that the game has to be overall enjoyable i'm personally not wanting to play a game that shoves an agenda down my throat the game has to be cohesive everything has to fit there has to be a level of understanding of what's going on in that particular universe. Biggest example, Mortal Kombat X. I didn't know Kun Jin was gay. Or it didn't click with me until I went back and I looked at the story and I looked at everything. I'm like, the in-game evidence and everything. I'm like, oh. Oh, he is. Okay, cool. But that's the thing. It fit. Metroid, Samus, for the longest time, it was assumed that Samus was a male. But until the end, you beat the game at a certain time, you, surprise, surprise, it's a female. Wow, okay, cool. It was well written. You know what? Interesting side note, I was just thinking about something. Women gave so much flack about how women are represented in video games. For example, Lara Croft from Tomb Raider, which was a nice, decent overhaul, you know, they make her look more realistic more human but 
they didn't say nothing about how or they glossed over the fact that how most of the people that she killed were men huh i just find that weird like it, you have a problem with how a woman is dressed in video games but yet her doing violence against men is okay I don't know. Maybe that's just, I, I don't know. Point of the matter is, at the end of the day, I want to be able to enjoy the game, no matter if the characters are gay, straight, whatever. If the game is bottom line enjoyable, I'm all in. Point blank. All right, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, be sure to leave your feedback below, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. There's going to be more videos coming soon. Um, you guys can follow me on my social media if you want to share uh, your ideas with me. Uh, 210LG on Twitter. 210Law on Instagram. And if you guys still use Facebook, 210LG on Facebook. And of course, keep it locked right here on YouTube for more. Also, quick side note. Um, I, I do accept donations. Um, if you guys want to support me via PayPal, you guys can. I also have a uh, Patreon for you. Um, I just have to update it, which I'm in the process of doing now. So, uh, but it is open if you guys want to support. So just keep in mind that some of the perks may change from time to time. Okay. So y'all bear with me on that, but that's going to be it for me. I will see you guys on the next time. Peace yes. and God bless. The Dynasty.